And a good afternoon from San Antonio, Texas, and the joint base here in Lackland. Time for day four of the 2017 Armed Forces Sports Basketball Championships. We start with the women first, and it's the Marines and Army meeting for the uh, second time here in this tournament. Earlier in the uh, tournament, the Army team won by a score of 98 to 51. So Army looking to make it two straight against the Marines. Army coming in at two and one. The Marines are 0 and three. Let's meet the uh, starting lineups. And uh, we will start with the Marines. Head coach Chris Harper starting number one, Corporal Shelby Abreu Rodriguez. Number two, Sergeant Naomi Green. Number five, Sergeant Ali Tellez. Number 12, Sergeant Ashley Leachman. And number 15, Lance Corporal Vela Jackson. Starting today for Army is number 11, Captain Louise Vandenbosch. Number 22, Sergeant First Class April Cromarty. Number 10, Sergeant Danita Adams getting the start here today as well as uh, number 15, Second Lieutenant Kiana Dolivera. And number 12, Specialist Juliet Turner. So that's the starters for Michael Myers' team. Quick turnaround for Army as they lost last night to Navy, 90 to 84 Army. Good hustle in that game with 32 offensive rebounds, but they allowed Navy to shoot 45%. Navy also went to the line 26 times and hit 19 free throws. Adams had 24 and six assists for Army. Dolivera double-double again with 16 and 10. Dolivera is averaging a double-double in the tournament, 14.7 points per game and 12 rebounds. 22 offensive rebounds in three games for Dolivera. Many of those came yesterday. The Marines in the red, Army in the white, and the tip is controlled by Army. For the Marines, just one player in double figures. Still, that's Naomi Green, averaging 10 points per ball game. Off the bench, Vela Jackson, averaging seven points per game as well. So those are the uh, leading scorers for the Marines. Open look, and a corner three is no good by Vandenbosch, but the putback underneath by Cromarty gets Army on the board. April Cromarty underneath, shooting 33%, nine rebounds and 5.7 points per ball game. So she's a very good force underneath rebounding the basketball. That ball thrown away on the save attempt by Abreu Rodriguez out on the run. Dalavera flips it up, flips it in. Army leading this one 4-0. I mentioned they defeated the Marines 98-51. to The Marines are being outscored by an average of 42.3 points per ball game, and they've called a lot of early timeouts in this tournament. They do so again here today. Chris Harper not liking what he sees, so we will step aside here briefly. Marines with the basketball, Army leads by four. Chris Schiemann, glad to be back with you. Day four. Things shaping up on the uh, women's side of things. We'll uh, show you the standings here at the next dead ball. Tellez, give and go. Her shot rejected, staying with it. Getting the bucket was Bella Jackson. Bella Jackson. Her fourth offensive rebound in the tournament came in shooting 36%. Gets the Marines on the board. Cromarty to Vandenbosch. Yes. For Louise Vandenbosch, this is her first start 
47% shooting off the bench in the first three games. So good numbers, and we have seen quite a bit of changes in the starting lineups as Vela Jackson has all four points for the Marines. And, you know, with seven games in seven days, a lot of players shuffling in and out and getting an opportunity to start here and there as well while some players rest. Open look, corner three, Adams, yes. The Marines are shooting just 27% and 12 of 68 from downtown while allowing opponents to shoot over 40% in their combined first three games. Castillo is in. She has the uh, basketball. Leachman pass deflected. That was last touched by Turner. So Sears not starting for Army. Instead, it's Vandenbosch who hit her first jumper. And some changes as well. Castillo, corner shot, no. And Cromarty tips it to Adams. Here's Turner. D'Olivera. Vandenbosch, Cromarty, turnaround shot, no. D'Olivera, the offensive rebound. No on the first effort, too strong on the second, and it's last touched out of bounds by Army. So this is what Army did yesterday against Navy, pounding that offensive glass to help them stick around in that ball game. And we see it again here early on. Leachman. There's Tellez, Abreu Rodriguez, corner jumper is short. Adams had it knocked away. Tellez flips it up and in. So a good start for the Marines here as they're hanging around with Army in the early going, just about four minutes in. The Army lead is three. Now a steal, almost a steal I should say, as Adams lost it, got it back, couldn't get the jumper. Leachman, and looks like a Marines player is hurt, and it's Tellez. Oh, Tellez goes to the bench, and Sharonda Jones will come in. Tellez is grabbing her neck. I wonder if she took a shot or what happened. Bella Jackson is also coming out. Marino comes in, so Marino and Jones both coming in. We hope Tellez will be okay. We'll check that for you as the day progresses. Ball deflected, taken away. It's a steal by Adams. There's Turner on the right wing, 4-3, and the air ball. Offensive rebound by Dolivera yet again as she goes to the bucket and scores, so Dolivera with three offensive rebounds already here today. Marino to Leachman, her pass deflected and Marino is fouled. Cecilia Magania coming into the game for the Marines. Cecilia making her third appearance in this tournament. Did not play yesterday. Castillo will come out. Leachman the inbound it. Abreu Rodriguez gets it back to her. Now back to Abreu Rodriguez who hits the baseline jumper. And this is a good start for the Marines who couldn't hit anything against Army in their first meeting. Hanging around right now. It's 11 to eight. Leachman into the forecourt. And that three is good. Marino from downtown and we are tied.
Here's Adams. And in Bosch, Cromarty short on it. And it goes out of bounds, last touch by Army. Some momentum here in the early going for the Marines. Coming in for Army is Pearl Henriquez. Number five comes in for Vandenbosch. Castillo is coming back into the game. So Castillo back out there. The Marines in the first meeting shot just 33%. Tied at 11, good defense there. Oh, Dolivera, she is making a case. For a tournament MVP, the way she's played here. That shot no good by Turner. Shot does not count, I should say, so. It's an offensive foul on Turner. Danielle Sally comes in for Cromarty, that's two on Army now. In the first meeting between these two teams, Abreu Rodriguez had 11, Green with 10, and Marino with 10 for the Marines. And for Army, it was Danita Adams with 17 to lead five players in double figures. Dolivera had a double-double with 14 and 13. I believe she's had a double-double in every t game. Marino. Abreu Rodriguez, seven on the shot clock. Magana, bounce pass Marino for three. Can't get it to go, and Sally with the board. Dalavera into the forecourt. Sears, the tip pass to Dalavera and a late whistle, but she's fouled and will go to the line. Oliver has been busy at the uh, charity stripe, 12 of 19, 63% so far here in the tournament. First foul of the game on the Marines as Army goes back up by one. Well, good news, Ali Tellez coming back into the game, so good to see her injury wasn't serious. Jackson also coming back into the game. One other sub as Dolivera gets two out of two. It's uh, number 12, Ashley Leachman. Now a turnover and a foul off the steal for Henriquez. So both teams with two team fouls now. The foul is on Leachman. Army by two with the basketball. They get it in. Dolivera puts it up off the side of the rim, and she goes over the back. Might have been a little frustrated with her shot there as she commits the foul. Three now, and Army. And it looks like we're going to get another timeout on the Marines, so we'll step aside as we take a look at the updated women's standings heading into day four.
So based on the standings, if Army goes and wins this game, that would eliminate the Marines from any possible championship game. All Army really needs to be concerned with, though, is Air Force. They need to beat Air Force, and uh, that would put them in the uh, championship game. They've done so already once. Marino to the bucket, can't get it to go. Rebound controlled by Sears. Ooh, almost carried the ball there. Got away with it, maybe. Now Sears into the forecourt. Turner fakes the three to the bucket, draws the foul on Abreu Rodriguez, so she'll go to the line. Oh no, they call three seconds. Wow. So the ball will go back to the Marines. Army can't buy a call in this tournament. Abreu Rodriguez into the forecourt. Abreu Rodriguez is going to be fouled. And it'll be on Turner. On for the first time for Army. Michelle Amble coming out. So this is her first appearance here in the tournament, I believe. Again, Michael Myers and everybody else in this tournament going deep into the bench. Jack. That was Jackson for two, and we are tied at 13. Talked about it last night in the Army-Navy game, and you know, Army having this quick turnaround, it's benefiting the Marines right now. Army's not playing bad necessarily, but the shots are a little flat, and you know, it's, it's you can tell they played an emotional game late last night. Nice move to the bucket, Sears gets it to go. Army 15 to 13. Army and the Marines, the men's game coming up 20 minutes after this game concludes. Jackson had it poked away, it's a scrum. Jump ball called and will stay on this end of the court. Stillo coming back into the game. Leachman will leave. Underneath Abreu Rodriguez on the inbound. We are tied again at 15. That pass had to be saved. Good job uh, towing the line for Sanders who's come into the game. That was Alexia Sanders making the save. Shot no good by Sally. Offensive rebound, Amble. Now Sears the jumper, no, Amble offensive rebound and Sally is blocked and fouled. That's team foul number three on the Marines. Sally, one out of two at the charity stripe here in the tournament. 11 points for Sally so far in the first three games. Army with four team fouls and the Marines with three. Sally puts Army back up by one. So tomorrow's game against Air Force is the big one for Army at 5 p.m. Again, if they win that, they will be in that final game. 17 to 15, both free throws are good. It's a steal now by Sears. Sears out on the run, dumps it off. Unselfish play to Henriquez. 19 to 15 in favor of Army. Here's Marino. Tellez out near midcourt. Jackson to the cutter, Tellez. Can't get the floater in the lane and Sally able to bounce the pass to herself and then Tellez with a foul. That will be four on the Marines. 
So both teams will be in the bonus on the next defensive set foul here late in this first quarter. Ashley Leachman coming into the game. So Leachman back out there for the Marines. The Marines tomorrow at one against Navy and Monday at five against the Air Force. Extra pass. Sally unable to get it. Put back up and in by Amble though. So Michelle Amble from Chicago, Illinois who played at Colorado State Pueblo and also Western Nebraska in college, getting on the board here in her first game in this tournament. Marines trying to hold for the final shot. Jackson with eight seconds left, no. Offensive rebound, Castillo, four seconds left. Tellez, no, and the rebound control by Sally. And that will wrap up one quarter of play. Army 21, the Marines 15, we will Go away for a couple of minutes, come back and bring you the second quarter action here in just a few moments. The Marines have their best shooting performance so far in the first quarter, shooting 44% from the field, but 10 offensive rebounds for Army. And they have a six point lead thanks to second chance opportunities. Hiroshima, glad to be with you here. Start of the second quarter. Amble for three, buries it. This is what we saw yesterday on the men's side as the men's teams went deeper into their bench yesterday. And you know, teams are so deep that, you know, a player like Amble who hasn't seen much action in the first three days coming in and burying uh, a couple of jumpers, making the case that, hey, coach, play me a little bit more. Everybody getting an opportunity. It's a 12-woman a roster, 12-man roster for each team. So 12, uh, seven games in seven days. You're going to see all 12 of them at some point. Henriquez gets it to go, an Army Five quick points to start off this second quarter, and the Marines will talk it over. We'll be right back. Marines with the basketball, 9.09 left to go here in the first half, just underway in quarter number two. Army leading by 11. Chris Sheeman, glad to be back with you. For the uh, Marines leading scorers, Vela Jackson with six points on three of four shooting. Six points for Dalavera for the Army to go along with three rebounds. Henriquez short on the layup attempts. Ray Rodriguez will push it into the forecourt. Leachman. Leachman had it poked away. Good defense from Sanders. 
Now here's Sears to Sanders, yes. Love to see that, you make the great defensive play and Sears finds her on the other end to convert. So Henriquez on the court with Sally, Amble, Sears and Sanders, that's the five for Army. We will set the five for the Marines here in just a minute as they get set to make a couple of subs. Tellez can't get it to go and players diving for it, jump ball called and the possession arrow will favor the Marines. Desiree Wilson coming in for Army. Number 11, Taisha Harrison, and number three, Maya Bradford, checking in for the Marines. They join Castillo, Jackson, as well as Harrison out on the court. Tellez, that's the five for the Marines. Harrison fakes the shots, and a foul by Sally. It's the uh, first foul here in this second quarter for Army. I see they're awake in Germany. Pearl's husband checking in on the YouTube chat. Albania, who was freaking out last night, also on the YouTube chat as well. Sears with the jumper. Amble. Had it stripped. Tell as they say, kept her dribble. Pass thrown away though. Sears comes up with it. Now they call a jump ball. It will be Army with the basketball. Latrell Kirkland coming in. Sanders will go out for Army. And Marino returns for the Marines. Cromarty also checking in for Sally for the Marines, or for Army, excuse me. Sears over in the corner, it's a three that comes up short. Kirkland couldn't get it to go, offensive put back by Cromarty, no good, and the Marines able to get the rebound. Army by 13. Tellez into the forecourt. Marino on the left side. Tellez gets it to Jackson, missed it back rim. Tip for the rebound and it comes to Sears. Sears turns on the Jets right to the hoop and scores. Army doubling up the Marines. And the Marines haven't scored since 1.59 to go in the first quarter. This game was tied at 1.11 all. Since then, a 19-4 extended run for Army. Trouble for Tellez. Harrison had it poked away. It'll be a shot clock violation. So good defense by Army. Abreu Rodriguez back out there for the Marines. Jackson will sit down. Out of the Sean. Rooting on Marino and the Marines as well on the YouTube live chat. Thanks for checking in, everybody. Another sub, Bradford out. And number 12, Ashley Leachman in for the Marines. Into the forecourt, Wilson for Army. Wilson looking underneath, pass deflected, and it's a steal by Harrison. Into the forecourt, Leachman. This is Abreu Rodriguez, top of the key. Tellez for three, a little bit long, Amble with the rebound. And it's thrown away, good defense again by Harrison. Shot by Tellez in the corner, no good. Offensive rebound, Harrison, and the putback is good. That's the first basket in seven minutes for the Marines. Trying to answer back, Wilson, yes, for three. Well, that's a heartbreaker if you're the Marines. You finally get back on the board and 
Army comes right back and punches you again. Leachman, Abreu Rodriguez. Here's Marino. Harrison. And it's a steal. Amble. Sears. Bounce pass goes to Kirkland. Kirkland over Marino. And yes, they say the basket counts. They call a blocking foul on Marino. He was looking to take the charge. D'Olivera and Adams back in for Army. Good minutes off the bench for the first time from Amble as she goes back to the bench. Kirkland trying for an old school three point play. Can't get it to go. D'Olivera coming back in, hitting the offensive glass, missed it short. Cromarty, yes. <clears throat> the lead is 20 for Army. 37 to 17. Marino on the left side. Leachman bounce pass to the cutter, Tellez. Taken away by Dalavera. Here comes Adams into the forecourt. Open look, Kirkland for three, short. Offensive rebound by Cromarty. And I believe another foul will be called on the Marines. So Cromarty will go to the line. Vela Jackson set to return for the Marines. That's two on the Marines, just one on Army. Pretty clean first half. More so in the second quarter. Cromarty at the line. 64% free throw shooter in the tournament. Gets the first one to go. Tellez will come out as Jackson returns. So Cromarty looking to go one, <laughs> two out of two. And that free throw bounces out. They call a lane violation, though. So an extra shot for April Cromarty. Cromarty, I mentioned it in the uh, first game, played at Campbell from 1998 to 2002, so one of the veterans on this Army team. As she gets it to go. She was an A-Sun Tourney MVP in 2000. 1,892 points in four years at Campbell. 9.6 uh, rebounds per game. Double-double threat. Stationed at Fort Jackson in South Carolina from Garland, North Carolina. I don't know how these players, I'm 35 years old and my basketball players are over. I've tried to play and every time I do my knees I get a contusion and I'm done for two weeks. I'd be interested to learn the secrets of some of these veteran players who are able to play you know, into their late 30s. Not something I was blessed with, that's for sure. They say last touch by the Marines now a foul going to be called here on the Marines, so that'll be team foul number three. Vela Jackson with her first. Adams over to left side, three no good from Kirkland. Chasing it down, guess who? D'Olivera, Wilson for three off the back of the rim. And that's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Cromarty. Castillo is coming back in. Serenity returning to the ball game, replacing Leachman. Here's Marino into the forecourt for the Marines. Just two points for the Marines since the 130 mark of the first quarter. Marino trying to change that, missed it back rim. And D'Olivera 
How many times have we called her name on the rebounds? Adams, Dolivera, short on the shot. Cromarty the put back. No, it was blocked by Jackson, taken away by Abreu Rodriguez. Here comes the Marines. Abreu Rodriguez had to pass it midair. Looked like that ball was kicked either way. Stays with the Marines. Marino on the left side. Jackson left of the lane from the elbow. Top of the key. Uh, Marino extra pass. Harrison for three. Dolivera running the gunning. Dolivera poked from behind, but a foul is called. That's team foul number four on the Marines. Tellez back out there for the Marines, also Sharonda Jones. For Army, Luis Vandenbosch, who started this ball game returning as well for Wilson. So it'll be Kirkland to inbound it, right of the hoop. Adams, Kirkland. Cromarty, Vandenbosch right off the bench, buries the jumper, 41-17, Army. Marino into the forecourt, approaching two minutes to go here in this opening half. Bella Jackson, turnaround shot, no, followed it, ripped away by Cromarty. Adams pushing the tempo. D'Olivera had trouble with the pass. Out to Kirkland, and Kirkland shuffled her feet. The Marines again. One field goal since 1.59 to go in the first quarter. Steer by Dolivera. Dolivera one on one. Takes it herself. Can't get the bunny. Well, she's having a rough shooting day. All the hustle points, though. And that's what you like to see. You know, sometimes when players aren't making shots, their defense and other things start to falter. That not happening here today with Dolivera. Marino. And a foul going to be called, I believe, on Kirkland. That'll be the second tier on Army in this quarter. Juliet Turner will return. D'Olivera to the bench. So it'll be Tellez to inbound it. It's hard to believe this game was tied at 11 at one point. 30 to 6 extended run. Bella Jackson, just the second field goal in the corner for the Marines. Jackson leading her team with eight. Kirkland. And Kirkland is going to be fouled. So Latrell Kirkland from Clearwater, Florida, will go to the line. Kirkland, two out of three from the charity stripe so far here in this tournament. Appreciate the kind words, those of you on the YouTube chat. I do plan on cutting the audio portion of the broadcast in the uh, second half of this game. We did the full Army Marines game on day one, and my voice is nowhere near as strong as it was. So I'm going to uh, cut the audio for the uh, second half. And, of course, if the Marines somehow make a comeback and make things interesting, we'll bring it back in. And of course, we will have uh, you know the video for you, and we'll keep the uh, PA announcer going so you can hear what's going on. Castillo, Tellez, turn around, shot by Jackson around the world and out. Turner the rebound. Here's Adams on the left wing. Adams takes it baseline into the lane, just a little short on that jumper. Ball tipped out. Vandenbosch the rebound. And Army can hold for the final shot. Turner, that ball was kicked. Forty-two, nineteen. 
all Army here in the second quarter. Scoring 21 points so far in both quarters. Seven seconds left to work with. Adams floats it up, floats it in. 44 to 19, and that will do it. For the first 20 minutes of play, Army holds the Marines to two field goals in that second quarter, and they lead it 44 to 19. We'll break for the half. Again, video only in the uh, second half, unless things become interesting once again. We'll be back with the second half here in just a little bit.